Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. This time I want to make a bowl and I want to use the dragonflower technique and I just showed you the colors I'm using. Um, this violet is the violet line. It's a uh, write and draw ink from Octopus and I mixed this into my resin. And the resin I'm using here is the transparente transparente <laughs> resin from um, Resin Pro. It's um, a resin I have not used too many times yet, but I just wanted to see what can I achieve with it. So I put the darker because I mixed it um, a little bit darker for, for my outer line and I mix it a little bit more transparent for my inner line. So that's what I've just done. I filled up with the more transparent part. And now I'm just using my white and the white is only the casting craft in my resin. I didn't mix any other color in there. And I just want to see what can I achieve with this. So I did this sort of pattern already um, in black. And I was so happy about the outcome, but I just didn't do the glitter very well. And what's also a little bit different this time, I only um, pour my bows in the M version. I think the Americans call it M this way around and the other way around is I think the W, but I'm only pouring in the M version. <laughs> Sounds funny for me. But you see what I'm doing? I'm just drawing this pattern. I love this technique and I find not only for the dragonflower, it works also in big molds to get nice effects. So I thought why not trying in violet or in purple? So this is now my pattern done. And then I give you a little time lapse so you can see what the resin is doing. It's really closing up and it's moving quite fast, I think. With a time lapse anyway, yeah, but there you see it. And now I'm taking my white again and I'm just pouring the lines outside again in the M motion. And I'm already amazed about the color. These right drawings, they have amazing colors. And again, I ran out of my resin and I just tried to, to catch a little bit, but it's, it's empty. <laughs> the Transparente is a more thinner resin than the Art Pro. And that's why I thought just try it with this resin as well. And now I'm taking the rest of my transparent and I'm just pouring it into the mold till it's up to the rim and then I just let the pattern work. You see already inside that there's something happened and I'm quite curious how the rest is going to um, turn out and now I'm taking glass bits. They are from Laura's Art Corner. They are the purple ones. I thought this is a nice mix. And I'm trying not to overdo it this time. And I'm also using silver glass bits because I thought silver might look also quite good. I think I took silver. I need to see now, but I'm sure I did take... No, no, I, I took gold. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, Laura. I took gold glass bits. And I'm just, yeah, making sure I place them till I'm happy. But you can also already see that the resin is moving and that a nice pattern is um, coming on the surface, but you never know what you're gonna get at the bottom. So I'm a little bit busy here placing my glass bits 
because I, this time I didn't want to mess it up like I did with um, yeah with my grayish black one bowl which I did um, I guess two weeks ago one week ago and now I'm giving it a little swirl in the center just in the oval motion <laughs> and then I can take you down for a close-up and look at that look at the color and the pattern I'm I'm really really happy with the color and I'm hoping that on the other side something nice is gonna turn out because you never know what you're gonna get <laughs> especially with resin so yeah this is the center bit and you can already see that it's like spider webs and mainly it's a good sign with this sort of technique so the next day or the next morning it's still um, soft and you can see how it changed I can take it out and I noticed that in the middle it was quite um, settled but at the edges it was quite soft so I'm not used to this resin I guess I should have waited a tiny little bit longer but there you go but look at that pattern the color and and the shades of color and I only used the same color but in different intense intense this you know what I mean <laughs> intensität in German <laughs> and now I'm just putting this plate into my oval bowl to make a bowl but at the sides you can see that it's a little bit um, yeah still soft but anyway and look at this look at the pattern I'm really in love with it and here's the final result I didn't show the unmolding and look at the shades of of the purple it's very beautiful I really really love it and it has a lot of depth and actually you know I'm, I'm just still fascinated myself because of, of yeah because of the depth of this piece and the intensity of the color but um, with this I love and leave you and I hope you like this video thanks for watching guys take care bye bye